Ivy Dietitian Stephanie Vandenberg joins us now. Stephanie, this looks like some great things to keep kids fueled up for all those busy practice days. I hope so. I mean, we've already had a few days that have felt like spring, and yeah. as we near the official start of spring, as the weather gets warmer, just talking through some tips about how to fuel and refuel for sports. Um, so the first one is definitely hydration, water, drinking water all throughout the day, keeping those water bottles with you. And then the 3-H rule, if exercise is longer than one hour, or if it's very hot and humid, or if the exercise is very hard and intense, then hydrating with something like a sports drink. hy dietitians, we love the liquid IV, and they make some smaller um, portion packets for kids. Mm -hmm. Great flavors to add some electrolytes. So the 3-H yeah. rule for hydration, if you need to add um, some of those electrolytes to, to replenish what you're losing through sweat and whatnot. And then moving on to snacks, we're just gonna throw together a kind of a fun energy bite recipe. Um, so in our bowl, I have a cup of peanut butter, three-fourths cup of honey, and a tablespoon of vanilla. We're gonna add three cups of oats. I'll let you add in a cup of coconut flakes, and then three-fourths cup of dried cranberries. You could also do your favorite mix-in, whether that's mm -hmm. chocolate chips, mini M&Ms, raisins, and then you just stir this all together and roll it into these balls. These are great to keep in the freezer, okay. and you can throw one into a backpack. Um, you know the ingredients better than maybe a granola bar. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Kids can even help make this, um, and it's like if you are needing a snack one to two hours before exercise, mm -hmm. something like this where you're getting some simple carbohydrates from the honey and the oats and the cranberries, that would be a good snack. Other snacks before exercise might be something simple like a banana, mm -hmm. applesauce, pretzels, nothing too hard on the stomach. Right, it's a quick carb. Right? Yes, okay. yep, exactly. And then moving on to kind of how to refuel after mm -hmm. intense exercise. So that's gonna look like a balanced meal with your protein and your carbohydrates. As quickly as you can afterwards, like within that 30 to 60 minutes. Yeah. So here we're just showing um, something like a chicken noodle soup where you've got the protein from the chicken and the stock. Again, also very hydrating with the, the salt and the electrolytes in there. Um, some more carbohydrates from fruit and then some fiber from the vegetables. And I like to kind of replenish with, you can make your own little beverage here with some coconut water, a little orange juice, a little sprinkle of sea salt. Yeah. A little hydration drink there to keep you going. Yeah, the fruit is super hydrating too. So yes, the protein, the carbohydrates, and the hydration yeah. is very good for muscle repair and preventing injury as well. Mm -hmm. And this plate seems really balanced. You have the fruit, veggies, but a little treat on there too. Exactly. Everything can fit and you want to eat with your eyes, kind of picking the rainbow of foods very throughout, colorful there. throughout the weeks, yeah. getting different antioxidants, vitamins and minerals, also for total health mm -hmm. as well. All right, Stephanie, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Let's stay with TV9. We'll be right back.